My mother was psychic and her sister Maggie was psychic and Aunt Ruth was psychic. In fact, most of the McDougal women have been psychic and my sister and I definitely have psychic abilities. I did believe in all of the psychic phenomenon and I did believe in the ghosts and I did believe in the stones and the, the mysticism and I did believe in the voodoo. All of that, I believed in Jesus Christ as well. When I was four, my father was in the army. He was in World War II and he was very involved in the landing of the south of France. He also captured Hermann Goering, one of Hitler's top aides, and he also was involved in liberating Dachau, the concentration camp. So for me, Vietnam was a moral issue, and it was really about good and evil, because e so many of these people who were responsible for the war were people I knew, and yet they were perpetrating a lie. Washington can be a poisonous, toxic city, because power does terrible things to people. I first met Ben when I went to the Washington Post for a job interview to be the secretary of the editor of the editorial page. And he took me into Ben's office and I just became weak need on the spot. I just thought that he was the most extraordinary, attractive, charismatic, sexy, chivalrous, interesting, intelligent, well I could go on. I had started a religion website at the Washington Post 11 years ago called On Faith. I wanted to do a religion website that would focus on politics and foreign policy because I felt that religion was a huge issue in both of those areas that we at the newspaper were not covering. Magic, you can define it any way you want to. I mean, you can call it religion. You can call it Hinduism or Buddhism or Judaism or Christianity. We all have access to magic if we only look for it in our daily lives. And so ultimately, the book is about finding magic and or what I call finding meaning.